KGA Pirates. It's Mr. Mike. How are you today? I've got some really cool stuff for you today. So let's check it out. Are you ready? Got your listening ears on? Are you going to pay attention and watch the videos and listen to my voice? Let's get started. Today, we're going to do some math. Mostly, it will be learning the English words for some math. I think you might already know some of this from Miss Stella, but you probably know it in Chinese. But I want to teach it to you in English so you can build up your English math words. Today, we're going to talk about digits. Digits. That's something that's very important in math. But it's just a word we use in English. And we're going to learn about that word. Let's find out about digits. That word is numbers. You know what numbers are. Like zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Those are all numbers. You already know those. And like 10, 15, 22, 47. Those are numbers. You know those numbers. Here's some big ones. See if you can read these numbers. What are these numbers? Yes, that's 100. What about this big number? That's 3,000. What about that big number? That's 8 million. But you don't need to know those in kindergarten. But they're fun numbers to talk about. So we're not going to worry about big numbers like those. We're going to deal with these numbers. Numbers like this. 10, 15, 22, and 47. But we don't want to forget about all these numbers either. So let's find out about these digits. So you know what a number is? Like seven is a number. You know that. So there's seven. Seven is a number. So is 23. But do we say seven and 23 are number? No, we have to have an S on the end of the word. If, if we have more than one, we have to add an S to the end of the word. You probably know that when you speak, but I wanted to make sure you understood the difference between a word like number, which means one of something, and numbers, which means two, or three, or four, or five of something. That word is number. But what we're going to talk about today is a different word. And this is how you spell it. It's D, 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 I, and that's a short I, like I, I. So it's D. Now that letter is G. And usually G makes a G, G sound, like in gorilla. So that would be the word dig. But sometimes the letter G has a J sound. Just like when you say the name of the letter G, the J, J sound. It's very close to the same sound as the J, like in juice. So, so far we have D, I, G. We have dig, dig. And there's another short I, I. Digit. Digit. That's what we're going to talk about today. Because we have to understand digit before we have our next lesson tomorrow. 
digit. Let me hear you say digit. Yeah, it's a little funny word to say when you first learn it. So you know digit. But what is it? You can say it, but what is digit? It's a funny sounding word. You say it three times. Digit, digit, digit. That sounds funny, doesn't it? But let's find out what it means. Digit. Well, you know what that is. That's a number. You know that. That's number one. And what's that? Right. That's the number four. And what's this one? Right here. All right. The number nine. Those are numbers. You know numbers. Now, what is that number? All right, that's the number 10. But we're talking about digits. And digits are the parts of the number. Like here we have 0 and 1. Those are the digits that are in the number 10. So the number 10 has two digits. 1 and 0. So we call them digits because there's more than one. What number is that? That number is 47. And it has two digits. 7 and 4. 4 and 7. Those are the digits in 47. So what is that number? 93. That number is 93. It has two digits. 3 and 9. Those are the digits that make up 93. Don't worry if this is a little hard. We're going to practice with this. Okay. What number is that? 10. Of course, you know that. And that's one number. 10 is one number. Now, let's check out the digits. Let's see how many digits it has. Let's count them. 1, 2. It has two digits. It's one number. The number is 10. And it has two digit, digits. See, it is hard to say sometimes. One and zero. Let's try another one. Forty-seven. That is one number. Forty-seven. Now, how many digits does it have? Let's see if you can count them. How many? You're right. There's two digits. And what are those digits? Yeah. Four, seven. Those are the two digits in the number 47. Let's practice some more. Because this is a little hard. Sometimes. Ninety-three. Yep, yeah, that's one number. Now, what about the digits? How many digits does that have? Let's be careful. Let's count them slowly. You're right. Two. Two digits. Nine and three. There are two digits. You ready for a hard one? I'll help you with the next one, but I want you to do the next one by yourself first. Ooh, how many numbers is that? That's right, it's one number. What is the number? 100. That number is 100. Now, how many digits does it have? 
One, two, three. Did you say three? You're right, three digits. It's one number, 100. And it has three digits. Do you want another big one? Okay. Can you say that number? Yes, 481. It's okay if you don't know that number. That's not a kindergarten number. That's like a grade one number. But if you know it, that's okay. That's a good job if you know it. That's one number, 481. That's like how many students go to WIS, W-I-S. There's about 481 students. Now, what about digits? Does that have two digits? No. One, two, three. Did you count three? Well, then you're right. There's three digits in that number. You're getting pretty good at this. You are so good, I think you're ready for homework. You ready? This is what I want you to do for your homework. I want you to write down 10 numbers with one digit. 10 numbers that have one digit. And then write down 10 numbers with two digits. And guess what's next? That's right. 10 numbers with three digits. Now, if you're not sure how to do this, watch this video again from the beginning and think about the difference between numbers that have one digit, numbers that have two digits, and numbers that have three digits. So write, make your numbers very neat for me. Write those numbers down, take a picture of them, and send it to me on WeChat. And I've got some more for you. This is a video about writing numbers, spelling the numbers. Like, do you see the one there? It's the number one, then O-N-E. That's how we spell the number one. This video, it's not about digits. I couldn't find a good video on digits. But this video is about spelling the words for the numbers. Like how do you spell two, T-W-O, and three. And it's a funny little video. This The orange and the apple are going to make a song together. So I want you to watch the video and practice spelling the words. There's not too much singing in it for you to do, but you can try but spell some of the words with it. Because we'll be doing that in school when we get back. That's definitely something we learned this year is how to spell the numbers. And then there's a book video. This nice lady is a teacher and she's going to read The Rainbow Fish. It's one of my favorite books and one of Mrs. Henry's favorite books. And there's a story about this fish called The Rainbow Fish. There he goes. And I know you're going to love this book. And that's all for today. Have a great day.